Dr. Dribble's Dire Dilemma by Don Conlon. When someone is hurt, you need Dr. Dribble. Whatever my prize, you must never quibble. Move aside, make room, and give me some space. It's time for the doctor to look at your face. I see it as lumps, where there should be a nose. I see it as bumps in the shape of a rose. I see it as hair, where there ought to be teeth. And I dare not guess what lies just underneath. I could cure that wart without even a thought. But I'm not sure I should, I'm not sure I ought. It's science, you see, to see how this ends. I'm a doctor, you see, not one of your friends. All the things I might learn from looking at you as you slowly turn into a kind of peace stew. The notes I might take, the advances I'll make, just by watching you close from the moment you wake. I'll watch how your eyes go red in surprise as you find that I've fed you some snot burger pies. I'll watch how your cheeks go green in disgust as I wash out your mouth with bicycle rust. It's all for the knowledge, it's all for the science. So sign here to become my learning appliance. I'll do every study, I'll run every test, I'll let beetles and spiders use you as a nest. Oh, I'm sure I could whip up the perfect cure, but wouldn't that be such a terrible bore? Wouldn't you rather go down in the books as someone well known for losing their looks? Wouldn't you rather die for a cause and receive in the end a mighty applause? By lending your face to experimentation, you might well be in for the perfect sensation. Well, as the only professional here by a mile, I'll make the decision with a doctorly smile. I'll watch you get sick and your skin become thick and I'll scoop up the bits that fall off or turn ick. I'll be the doctor to you, though you won't live to see. All the glorious things I shall brew from your wee. I'll remember your name and tell others this story. And I'll try not to mention the bits which are gory.